Skyport's registered, Contreras Earl Architecture and Pascal plus Watson Architects will release a concept for an Australian waterfront e-mobility hub at the World Air Taxi Congress in San Francisco. The group proposes that waterfront vertiports are a logical solution for retrofitting cities to accommodate EV tolls. The current proposal will replace an existing heliport on the Yarra River in Melbourne with a new purpose-built vertiport to accommodate the introduction of electric air taxis. The Skyport's vertiport would be a multi-use space. Under this plan, the site would also be a multimodal hub for electric scooters, bikes, ferries, and hire boats. A cafe would provide an area for people to view the action, says the announcement. We have been developing designs and concepts for vertiports for five years, and we keep coming back to waterfront sites being the most practical to retrofit cities for advanced air mobility. The reality is that waterfront sites provide the safest access for electric air taxis in terms of aviation requirements for clear approach and departure paths, said Skyport CEO, Clem Newton Brown. Waterfront sites are also likely to be one of the few places where land can be found to accommodate terminals, and there is also the option for floating landing pads. Paris has five vertiports proposed for the Olympics next year. They will be primarily using existing airports and helipads. The one new vertiport they have chosen to be on the river. This aligns with our thinking that when cities need to actually choose vertiport location, the lowest hanging fruit will be the waterfront location, said Newton Brown. We are really excited to have developed this concept in conjunction with Contreras Earl Architecture and Pascal plus Watson Architects, and it has great potential to be rolled out in waterfront cities around the world, said Skyport CEO, Clem Newton Brown. This landmark building is the result of addressing many different important parameters, including sustainability, context, climate, community, and the user experience. The Vertiport will feature a high-performance roof designed to be structurally robust, lightweight, and sustainable owing to its aluminum manacock structure, the same system employed in the manufacturing of cars and aircraft. By embracing the latest technology, we are liberated from traditional building practices and forms, and free to explore more forward-thinking ideas. Melbourne is ahead by having two Vertiports designed in its city. We are proud to be part of the implementation of this new technology and what it means for the future of Melbourne and clean, green travel, said Rafael Contreras, director of Contreras Earl Architecture. Advanced air mobility presents a real opportunity to enhance our major cities with regards to both improved liveability and connectivity. The Melbourne Vertiport utilizes existing helicopter permissions to offer a quiet, zero-pollution solution that gets its users quickly and quietly to and from a range of metropolitan destinations. It forms an ideal complement to the city's Green Line Master Plan objectives in achieving both an environmentally and commercially revitalized year of frontage with drastically improved pedestrian access. What better way to showcase the spectacle of future flight than in replacing a central city helicopter service in this prominent location with a wonderful new, environmentally sensitive on facility for Melbournians, said Martin Nealon, Aviation Director, Pascal plus Watson Architects. The key to this industry is breaking the nexus between aviation and existing airports. We need to develop a network of new vertiport sites if the industry is to reach its potential, and we see the greatest potential in waterfront location, said Newton Brown.